lot of tutorials on YouTube for heatless curls, but not a lot with my texture. So today I wanted to show you how I achieve my heatless curls. I'm starting off with a heatless blowout that I did about two nights ago. I have my hair section in these twists to keep them from tangling together. I've already fangled and detangled my hair, so we're pretty much ready to start our heatless curls. I have my hair sectioned into four sections, and then I'm going to take those four sections and create two subsections. I didn't want this tutorial to be too redundant, so I've already started on my first side of my hair. So now I'm going to show you how I get these knots on the other side. We're going to start with unraveling these twists that I have in my hair. Then I'm going to take medium to large subsection, and then I'm going to mist my hand with a small amount of water. And I'm going to just work that water into my hair. I'm then going to add some curl starter styling foam to help set my hair and also work that into my hair strands. I'm then going to twist downward and I'm going to twist my hair all the way down. Since my hair is in this state and it's not straight, I want to twist it all the way down so that I have more control over my hair. So twisting it all the way down is a good idea if you're working with state of hair like mine but if you have straight hair you can twist as you go when I get to the ends of my hair I'm just applying a little bit of gel and I'm using diva curls light defining gel and that's just to tame my ends a little bit um, so that they're not frizzy when I take down my hair I'm then going to wrap it around like a little bantu knot and secure it away with a bobby pin now I'm going to show you guys how I do these knots at a closer angle showing you the front of my hair. I'm going to do the exact same process but this time I'm going to come up the front of my hair because it had a little bit too much of my curl pattern. So I'm just lightly combing that out. And then I'm misting my hair with some water, working that through my hair strands, and then applying the curls darter styling foam and also working that through my hair. Then I'm going to just twist my hair downward like I showed you guys the first time and twisting it all the way down because my hair is easier to tame this way and then wrapping it into a little bandeau knot. And then at the ends of my hair applying a little bit of gel. And that's it. You're just going to secure it away with the bobby pin. And you're just going to do this same exact process all over your hair. Ugh, and it's getting so hot in here. But we're all done. This is what it looks like when it's all done. You look a little bit like Scary Spice, but you'll get those overnight curls tomorrow. So now you're going to just put your scarf on and tie that around your head. And I do recommend that you wear a satin scarf. And you're just going to go to sleep. Okay guys, so it's the next night. I've kept these in all day because I was so lazy and didn't go anywhere. So I finally decided to take them out at nighttime. And I'm going to apply a little bit of coconut oil to my hands so that um, I don't have a lot of frizz. I want some frizz for volume, but just not a lot. So I'm just going to unravel these knots. And keep in mind that if you have shorter hair or if you want smaller sections, then you can just do smaller knots. I just prefer to have um, medium to large sections. Now that I'm taking out my knots, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling them apart so that I can create the curls. So that not a lot of definition is lost, I just lightly separate my curls. So I don't separate them too much, I just separate them very lightly. And of course, I'm going to take my hair and push it over to the side like I always do to create a little more volume. Now I'm going to take some edge control and I'm using curls edge control. And I'm just going to um, tame my edges a little bit, clean them up. And this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. 
Um, I really did. I like my overnight curls. I like that I could just wake up and have a style for the night, go out with my girls, you know. If you like this tutorial, then please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! You can find me on Instagram at Shantae's Way. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for weekly videos.